So, but 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 speaking of music of today's uh, of today's climate and landscape, Memphis is on a tear. Yes, we are. Yeah, um, yeah we are. Fire uh, right uh, you know, uh, one would have to be a hater to say that Memphis isn't running rap. Yeah. It, it it just is what it yeah, is. Yeah. We, you know, other True. cities and states may not like it. Yeah. But the, the facts feel. are the facts. Yeah. Where did this dominance in music in Memphis come? Production. Hmm. Uh, it's, yeah. it's, it's production. Um, I think as yeah, with anything, it's about the tempo and how hmm. fast or slow music is going. And I think the uh, the tempo has always just Memphis has always been a marketplace. It always was known for beats. Yeah. And now it's just the beats. Along with that same type of vibrato, vibrato that dog, like we got that because we've always been the step brother of Atlanta. Mm. We've always been like the smaller market. We've not really always got our true, you know. We 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 influenced a lot, you know, but not really got the full, you know. Just the okay, man. These these guys are gonna get all the love for it. Yeah. We may have we've come through, and we've influenced Atlanta influence some of the the greats from Atlanta. I know I have for certain. And they'll take it and run off with it. And, you know, and they may kick you back a free verse or something like that. <laughs> but but they can take the thing and run off with it and they yeah. will do it. But now because of social media, um, people are able to see who originated certain things. Yeah. Um that sound first three it was it started with how much three six mafia was being sampled. Come on. Going yeah. back to like uh, when it, we go back to uh, when I hit it one time, I'm a wife. Uh, yeah, we go, let's go back to that, G Easy, because when Herman caught it in, in that song. But a lot of starting from that time frame, we see a lot of people that were sampling Memphis music, and then I think I think that same record was sampled like three times in the same in year. in the same year. Was yeah. it ASAP Ferg? That did a, it too? Ferg did it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Ferg came and did it too. So it's like the sound became one of the most sampled sounds. Yeah. And then, you know, we had what a blessing that came through was that that we had someone like Yo Gotti there it is. Uh, came through and he got his situation. He got he was a, he got a boss situation to be able to put out other Memphis acts. Yep. So when he got his situation and he was able to put out other acts, that opened the floodgates. Then you have see, people have to understand this, too. When something is popular in the in the masses. Okay, then what happens is, no matter what, that sound is the sound, the tempo that people are on. Yep. So even if Gotti didn't go help Dolph, okay, follow me on this. Even if Gotti didn't help Young Dolph, it still helped because of the fact that sound was putting out there. So when Dolph come through with his sound and tempo, even though he's doing his own thing. Yeah. That tempo was with the tempo is what everybody was on. That sound. So when he came through with his voice on that sound and his movement with the PRE movement on that sound, it still works. So we all benefit from that happening directly or indirectly, whether this person is when 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 Gotti makes a hit and then go grabs Glorilla and go grabs Money Bag Yo, or go grabs uh, Black Youngster, or go grab uh, uh, was, uh, J, J, uh, Black Boy JB, mm -hmm. and, and all these hits are being made out of Memphis, mm. then the corporate America and the record labels are saying, they don't. there's no feelings involved. It's This is what's working? We're going to cut a bag for what's working. Yeah. So, which means that other things from Memphis got a chance to be able to get that light because Memphis was now a viable product. That all Glorilla friends got deals. All of them. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, so it, that that was what I mean. It's like, so like, you, you look at how great Key Glock is doing right now. Amazing. Key yeah. Glock is coming with anthems yearly. Anthems. Okay? And, but 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 that's because of the promotion and the and what Young Dolph, is what he put into that. Mm -hmm. So it's like, with that happening... That wasn't happening in Memphis for a long time. People would get up and just be like, I'm the king of Memphis. Hey. And not really reach yeah. back so it could be a scene in Memphis, like more than one thing in Memphis. Now that that's happened, now you got finesse two times. Yeah. You got you, you're gonna you're gonna continue to see more and more acts come from Memphis and the production is one thing that, that I feel like we are still like Tay Keith. Tay Keith is Drake's. That's his. That's his go-to guy. Yeah. 
you, you don't have a lot of the hits that Drake has made uh, after the best I ever had that I co-wrote <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> um, I, I, after that. But a lot of the hits that he's made, he still leaned heavily on Memphis yeah. on the influence of Memphis, Tennessee from the production level of Tay Keith. Yeah. Tay Keith deserves his flowers twenty because of the fact that Sexy Red yeah. came from Tay Keith. He did. She did. You know, and then Drake's, all of the songs that on this last project and then on Scorpion, all of these songs that really connected to the streets and to the, and to the, and the charts that went number one were produced by Tay Keith. It really was. So these are all, then you got Hit Kid who who, who, who ushered in the whole Glorilla and all the females in the shop. Yes, he did. So, and so when you got these producers and these artists making a move, that's why you see what's happening. That's why it's it's a rain because we are we are winning with the sound and now, a great segue, a great segue mm-hmm. to what I feel like is next with the sound of producing from Memphis, which is this guy next to me, there Jerome it Payne. There it is. You know, um, there's a lot of big records. I won't speak on what records, yeah, because the records will speak this year. Oh, but I will let you know that some of your very favorite female artists, um, top tier. Will be, will be spitting bars on top of his tracks and some of the number one, some of the bigger Memphis artists. We we didn't even we didn't even, one, one person we left out of the Memphis conversation mm. who is killing it too. Yeah, it's Inelli Chopper. Facts. We we yeah, left him out of the conversation. Kids love him. He is in Switzerland somewhere right now. Yeah, in Switzerland, literally crazy. right now. Like he is, you know, he's with Warner. Yeah, dude, he's with Warner Brothers. He's, he's 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 with Warner. He is a mega star. When you, when you, some of the older people may not know his songs like that, right? Exactly. But when you go look up the RIA certifications on what this man is doing, this crazy. man is, he has, he can compete with Moneybag or any of these guys with certifications. This is my 10 year old's favorite, favorite rapper. This is my, my son. She loves my, 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 my son. He's my nieces, he loves my him. nephews. I'm talking about. You know, about. Lo- loves him. And, um, and, and there's some, there's some, there's some big songs that he has coming up. Um, that are that are gonna wow this country, um, and I, I really I see a lot of him, but I, I see a lot in this guy right here. I, I was with Drama Boy, I, you know, I, I sold Drama Boy's first beat to, to Universal. I heard Drama Boy, I heard the beats, I knew it when it was that thing, and I'm telling you right now, Deron is is he's he's that thing. He's got that he's got that he thing. Got that, that, that sound. He got that guy. But uh, but the, the thing that's different about him is that he like a he like a Kanye South. He spit wow. on top of the, um, the making the beats. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say like Memphis hasn't had that come out yet. Of a, a, a lyricist, we got Don Trip. Shout out to Don Trip. He's yeah, he's lyrically Tripp. killing it too. Um, but he don't make beats. Yeah. So to have be able to have the, the both best of both worlds, I think that's what hmm. you know we got. And you know w- with this guy to my right, so you know I'm, I'm excited. I'm really excited about what Memphis is, is about to do for 24. You know, was ours. I always um, when I first heard "Sexy Red Pound Town," mm. I heard uh, I think it was a, I think it was a take heave drop in it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was confused. I didn't know how it came about. Mm-hmm. I didn't know how she connected with him. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know if she was an independent artist, if she was already signed, uh, if she was an industry plant. I just know that this young lady was in a convenience store with a very <laughs> raw video. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because I seen what they did with Glorilla. Yeah. And, and, and it's just these raw, gritty videos mm-hmm. with a hard ass song and a hard ass beat, and it ends up shooting out of there. Can you can you explain to me how the sexy red Tay Keith collaboration kind of kind of initiated? Because we don't know. I do believe that that was my guy, Wicked Films. Uh, Wicked was a person I believe that connected sexy red and uh, mm-hmm. and Tay Keith. You know what I mean? Um, Wick is, you know, is definitely he's he's Wick has always been like the uh, world star yeah. of Memphis. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. As far as what's yeah. up, I just he, talked to Wicked yesterday. Yeah, shout out yeah. to Wicked man, and he has a son with autism too. That's why we re- we really connect on that as well. But um, he got a he had a spot out in St. in St. Louis, and I think he uh he had already like put that put that play together, and I, and I think that um that's what what took place. But I I love what what they're doing. I just think like, and I think you know, a Memphis hustler. He saw what Hit Kid and Glow really did. Because <laughs> yeah. Hit Kid went and got all the wretched. He, he, he did that. He got the whole hood. 